Um, you know, I want to start off, and this is actually going to be a very positive hashtag, Danalytics. I've uh, got two, two topics to discuss here tonight with you guys, and uh, one of them goes back to the other night, and this was kind of cool. Uh, I didn't realize it until yesterday, but uh, because of the Spurs sitting DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Pertl out of the starting lineup, the Spurs starting lineup the other night in Phoenix featured five guys who all spent time in the early part of their careers playing with the Austin Spurs, and that would be DeJounte Murray, Derek White, Luka Shamanich, Keldon Johnson, and Drew Eubanks a combined 163 games with the Austin Spurs from 2016 to even just this year with Luka playing down in the gubble. And I asked Coach Pop before the game about Austin uh, and their contributions to the Spurs' success. All the coaches that we've had down there, uh, the development people there, and of course with in San Antonio have really helped us, you know, create a, a culture where we can improve from within and don't always have to come up with the, uh, the perfect signing or the perfect trade or whatever it might be. You know, seeing those guys develop is also very satisfying. We're happy that these guys are getting the time they're getting, and I think uh, it bodes well for the future. Now, I checked with the NBA G League, who then checked with Elias Sports Bureau, and they confirmed that going back two years, this is the first time that an NBA starting lineup has featured five players who all came from the club's G League affiliate. They can't go back before the 2019-2020 season, Matt, but I got to believe this might be the first time this has ever happened in the history of the NBA. And you and I have covered the Austin Spurs a lot over the last few seasons. How significant do you think this is for the Spurs organization in terms of the big picture? Well, I think it goes to show how important the G League team is as a, uh, almost a farm system to develop your young talent and get them ready quicker to contribute at the NBA level, if that makes sense. You get much better. We talk about this actually going down there, playing in games, uh, more practice time than you do just staying up with your parent club and sitting at the end of the bench and never hardly playing, just playing spot minutes. So the Spurs were one of the first teams to really utilize that. And it seems like they kind of started that trend. Now every NBA team has followed suit. Uh, I, I don't know, Dan, maybe you can answer this. I think every team has their own affiliate at this point. And more and more teams. I mean, you and I called uh, have called a ton of uh, games over the last few years. And anytime another team comes in town, is always multiple guys who are, have have either have significant NBA experience or are coming back from an injury and getting ready. Or after we saw them, they're like contributing on their NBA team at some point later in the year. So it's really taken off.